crois que... <rire> Cute and straight. Yes, it's very sleek and straight, unlike in the movie. No. Kind of like my afro of curl. Well, I would have curly hair too if I had that crazy old bitch screaming at me. <laughs> What's up with that woman? She's like sh scary. She's so scary. I mean, the, the previews on, or the clips that you see on TV is like, you're like, who? <laughs> it doesn't even look like a real person. You think it's a cartoon. Yeah. Exactly. Was she like that in real life? Yeah, those are just... her teeth. Sadly, yeah. Was she, um, who is that? Her name's Jeanette Miller. She's just, she's awesome. I guess she's, so. Well, she's like the sweetest, sweetest lady. Like, she was, uh, she would forget her lines. She forgot her lines a couple times during the, the first couple takes. And I, it was before we got to that scary stuff. And, you know, she's just like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. You know, it's just the sweetest, it was the sweetest thing. And all of a sudden, she's like, your baby's gonna burn. <laughs> scaring the hell out of me right now. <laughs> Did you like playing a pregnant woman? Y you know, I think it's the best form of birth control. Uh, I, uh, I got to, to carry around a 10-pound weight for about a month and a half, which was... The best form of birth control is actually playing a mother with a kid on set. Okay, there's that. <laughs> there's that. And then playing pregnant is good because, I mean, it's not as bad, but I could see where you would think that that might be good birth control. Yes, yes. Are you going to be back on Friday Night Lights? Because you know it's my favorite show. I do know it's your favorite show. And you're good friends with Connie, right? She's one of my best friends. Oh. She says hello. Oh, tell her no. <laughs> You left her all by herself in Austin? No, I know. She has no one to hang out with because you guys... I know. She's not having, you know, the best time now. Yeah, they filmed the show in Austin and Connie just has to sit there and fiddle her bean because she's got no <laughs> friends now down there. <laughs> Poor old Connie. There's Boop, nothing rock. to do in Austin. There's no margaritas or, you know, That's a fun city. Or... Isn't that a fun city to hang out it's in? It's the best city ever. Yeah. Good food. My favorite city. Good food, good drinking. Oh, yeah. It's a small city, though, so you can get in a lot of trouble fast. It's true. I don't remember a lot of my experience in Austin, <laughs> but... <laughs> so are you thinking about going back and doing yeah, some... Yeah, I was, I was supposed to go back this last season, but I was doing a film and it was just a conflict. So I'm thinking of going back this season for a couple episodes. Just to visit, perhaps? Just to visit. Now, who are you dating in real life? You have an actor boyfriend, right? I do. His name's Alan. Alan Tudyk. And he's the guy on Doll... Is the show Dollhouse? Yes, he's been on Dollhouse. Okay. And he, and he was on Firefly and... Uh-huh. Yeah. And do you like him? Are you thinking... No, actually. No. no. <laughs> kind of despise him. Right. No. We're, we're very happy. That's cute. Yes. That's nice. Where are you from originally? Ohio. Oh, you know our little Ryan. Did you meet Ryan Bassford? I Bassford? Him. Yes. He, we have a boy on set, on staff. He's a boy, but he's the one that we all think is gay. And he, <laughs> he was getting ready upstairs before you came today. And I, he was looking in the mirror, and he only does that when we have hot girls on the show. And he's Aww. always getting ready. And I'm like, Ryan... You're gay. Why do it? <laughs> was, he, does he, was he nervous around you? He gets nervous in front of pretty he girls. He was very sweet. He was very sweet. You know. Everybody leaves Ohio, though. Everybody so. does. It's like New Jersey. It's like where I'm from. People leave because they're trying to get the hell out of there. Exactly. <laughs> so you have, you have some tattoos of your parents on your body? I do. That's I sweet. Do right there. That's cute. That's so much better you than... You can see my scar from falling last night on my st Oh, no. <laughs> Were you at the Golden Globes parties? No. That would make sense. That's I'd have an nice excuse. Um, <laughs> no, I was just home and uh, <laughs> walked down the stairs. Yeah. Do you have a lot really... of... Well, you're very tall. I am very tall. Does that help you to fall a lot? Because if I... <laughs> well, yeah, it helps me to fall, and the fall is much greater, because it's, you know... I would imagine. space between me I would and the think, floor. I would think it's harder to be taller, because you would be clumsier, because you're so far from the ground. It's like skiing. When you're a little kid and you learn, you're little, and you're closer to the ground, so it's not scary. And as you get older, you're like, oh, it's just becomes more scary. I shake every morning when I get out of bed, because of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes a lot of sense. Exactly. Well, thank you for stopping. By. It was very nice Thank to you meet you. Me. You're very, very cute, and I love the red hair. Thank you. And um, Legion is in theaters this Friday, everybody. It's very scary, and there's a real old bitch in it, so watch <laughs> out.